Hello and welcome. Next, I am I am starting very interesting new project, and this project name is that how to disassemble and assemble again this uh, Toyota's VVTi engine. And for that project, I have purchase used Toyota's motor and here is this this motor's picture and I have set up this motor in in a special place that I can disassemble disassemble all of these parts in this motor and and then we can investigate that that how this motor works and also in in final stage is also to to assemble this motor back and now i will show a little bit this motor and uh, then we start to disassemble this motor and first i take this plastic cover out in here that we can see this motor and uh, And uh, there is this. This motor is a uh, uh, really workable motor, and this motor's year model is something like 2005, and this size is 1.6 liter gasoline engine. And and this uh, this motor mileage is something like 70,000 miles. And first we check that that what is this motor's oil situation and here we have this oil stick in there and I take this oil stick out and yes there are good oils okay and then I insert this motor back in there okay and next next we do this motor test that that we test that that when when we have motor what is used that is there everything moving and I move this fly feel a little bit and we continue. Okay and next I test that is this motor parts moving and are like pistons workable and I I take my hand in here and I can rotate this wheel quite easily. And then when I and then when I move that there is no any any tolerances or any special sounds and in in that that I can right away see that this motor is is working and and there is no any issues. And then this motors, of course, you are interesting to know that how much that kind of motor costs, whereas mileage something like 70,000 miles and year model 2005, and this kind of uh, motor cost something like 500 to 1000 US dollars and and this this motor is really durable and then we look this motors other sides but what this motor looks like okay and this is that that side where is this intake intake and those fuel injectors those fuel injectors are in, in here one two three four and uh, there is this intake system and, uh, and in, in this 
this lower area there is a, there is oil filter and there is this oil basement and uh, and there is oil 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 pressure switch and then there is also in that area there is thermostat in here there is thermostat and, uh, and there is this thermostat and then we look this next next side Okay, and in that side there we have this oil engine, oil adding cap and here we have fuel injection system intake those, uh, those valves and then when we look in here down there we can see that there is this clutch, here is this clutch system in here there is this clutch and in this upper area there we can see that there is fuel pipe in, in here fuel pipe that goes in fuel injectors ok and we go to next side ok and and in that side we have those uh, ext ext house ext house system holes in here four and then there is also this uh, this there is this bleeding nut where we can bleed our our motor when we change our coolant fluid it's in here okay and in also in here we can notice that there is this oil bleeding bolt in here where, where we can change our car's oils okay and, and then we look also the final side Okay, and in this side we, we can see that there is this drive belt tensioner system in here and then there is also water pump in here and this is like super steel and there is this motor, motor camshaft wheel and the, and then there is also this one sensor what is in here what is relate, related to this VVTI system okay and, the, and then there is this oil basement there is oil basement campsite field and then there is water pump and then tensioner belt system and then there is this cylinder head and valves in that, that area here ok and then we start this our project and first step what we do is that we start to take those ignition coils out and it's the first part of this disassembling this assemble this this VVTI motor. Okay, and we started next. Okay, and our project first disassembly task is to take those ignition coils in those four in away. And first thing is that we start to take this cables in here what are in, in here and when I press in this 
side in there. There is small connector in there. What what moves? And next, I start in here. I press that, and then I I move that a little bit, and I pull it out. It is a little bit thick, but now now it opens. Okay, and then then there is this next one. Next one to do, and there is same idea. I press that, and then I pull out this in here. Now this seems to be so thick that I need to take my tongs. And we continue. Okay, and then I, I thought that I start to use shocket. What size is? Size is three divided eight, and it fits in in here. And I first take this out. Actually, yeah, in here, I insert the socket in here, and then I rotate a little bit this. I rotate this little bit. And here was that kind of bolt. And I insert that in there, and then when I move that little bit in here, there is this ignition coil. And then I think that I open also that. And there was this bolt. And then I think that I little bit moved that. I moved that and I pull out this ignition coil. And then I think that I can press this. I can, I can okay and it's this is really thick. Okay and next I use two screwdriver where are those points and the first one I use that that I little bit move up this this clipper in here but I move at I insert this tool in there and then I move at this in that way and the second I use that I I bend this and now this opens and this was this was thick joint and there is next Okay, and then we continue in next one. And now I use my this my method in here because these are very thick and okay, now it's in there and this is actually good good hint and be careful that don't you don't bend that too much. And then I again I move that in here. And then we have this final part in there and same same idea in there. And then I bend that. Okay, and now it's, it's open. And then I I take those ignition coils away. And again, 
this socket there was the spot and then next one Then I take those ignition coils out. Okay. This this seems to be it. How about then that one? This opens. But this seems to be too thick and I think that. I have to take this full cable line, this plastic part away, and there is this bolt, what is again the same socket. Fits in there. Now this this bolt it it is just there. And I take the bolt using my screwdriver. Okay, and there was this bolt. And then, then there is this, this final, final bolt, what is in there, and I open also that bolt, there is a socket in there, and take this this part away and this final coil goes off. Okay, good. And and this was this first first job and the next our target is to take this uh, cylinder in next next parts we take this cylinder head cover out and then we take cylinder cylinder head also away and then we can see those pistons okay and thank you for watching and we will see in our next part when we are deassembling this valve cover area okay and thank you for watching